so that you can have a long spine. Bring your feet to the earth, allowing them to fully relax. Maybe imagining the soles widening. And just check and make sure that your ankles are right underneath your knees so that you have a 90 degree angle at the knee. And close the eyes and let your sitting bones get heavier. Can you relax both sitting bones equally? Letting the belly relax, and allowing the belly to receive your breath. Inviting the heart to ever so slightly lift. And the shoulders relax over the hips. Visualizing a light in your spine. Light from tailbone up through the crown. And this light is holding you up. Begin to deepen your breath, closing the lips, letting your breath wash in and out through the nose. Your height stays the same. But as you inhale, your body expands on all sides. Rib cage expanding front, back, and sides. Belly expanding in all directions. Even the chest and the back of the heart will move slightly, expanding outward. And as you exhale, they gently contract. Contract the throat slightly so you can hear your breath sounding like the ocean. Ujjayi. Ujjayi means victory, creating victory over the mind. Instead of allowing the mind to constantly wander, we're anchoring it into the present moment. We could sit here through the whole class and just breathe. And we'd be doing a very advanced yoga. We'll keep our breath throughout this practice today as we transition through different movements. Keep your awareness of the present moment and let's set an intention, bringing the palms together at the heart. 
any intention that comes forward for your practice today, you can set. And let's send these intentions out with the sound of OM. You can just listen or you can join in with me. Inhale deeply. Exhale all the way out. Inhale for the sound of OM. touch. Exhale, bring it down. Any scattered energy from the week coming to center. Your inhale takes you out and up. Your exhale centers. Listening to the sound of your breath. And this next time, as your hands come down, bring them all the way to the knees, leaning forward. And let your belly and your heart melt towards the thighs and fold all the way down, letting your head hang like a rag doll. Press into your feet, riding your inhale out and up. Exhale, palms touch, bringing them to heart center. Take a breath here. Inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, cactus arms, leaning forward slightly. Keep your spine long as the elbows bend, fingers spread. On your next exhale, reach out wide, opening your heart center as you fold all the way down. Head hang. Press into the feet with wide arms, reach out and up. And as you reach up towards the top, reach your right foot out and up. Exhale, point the toes, draw the right knee in. Inhale, reaching. Point the toes, exhale, draw it in. One more. Let it down. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, cactus. Stay here, inhale. Exhale, get wide as you fold. The head hangs at the bottom.
When you're ready, inhale, reach out and up. As you reach up to the top, reach that left foot forward, flexing the foot. Exhale, point the toes, draw the knee in. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Let it down, inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus. Scooch your sitting bones just a tiny bit back. Inch your feet a little bit wider. Reach your arms out like airplane wings. And then begin to twist to the left and try to reach your left hand to your left knee so the elbow will bend left hand rest sorry right hand what am i doing <laughs> wiggle your right fingers bring these wiggling fingers to your left knee there you go good sorry about that and then reach your left arm back behind you you're twisting to the left keep your breath Now let's switch. Left hand comes to the right knee, right arm is reaching back, twisting to the right. And unwind to center. Bring both hands on the knees and wiggle it out side to side. Good, depending on how wide your feet are, you might like to stay right here or you might like to inch them a tiny bit wider. Toes jut out a little bit more than the heels. Good, slow it down. And the next time that you come over to the left, keep both hands on the knees, press down through the hands and start to glide your left shoulder back and look over that left shoulder, you're twisting again. Bring it all the way over to the other side. Press down through both hands, draw the right shoulder back, gazing over that right shoulder. And relax it to center, allowing yourself to fold. Hands might come down to the ground, deep in your breath. Can your breath get all the way down into your low back and sacrum? Pressing into your feet, inhale, gaze forward. Maybe you're tenting your fingertips here for a moment. And on your next inhale, start to reach forward and up. Good, using the strength of your belly. Exhale, bring your right arm down to your right leg. Left arm reaches up and over. Let your right palm face up. 
and relax the chin, the neck. Sending your breath into this left side of the body. And inhale, reach it up and over to the other side. Each side might feel different. You can close the eyes. Send your breath into the right side of the body. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. Reach up so high, a little back bend happens. You can even gaze up. And on an exhale, slowly opening the sky dome as your arms come all the way out and down to the legs. Noticing this present moment. Become aware of the body. Become aware of the mind. Become aware of any feelings or emotions. In yoga, there's no right or wrong. So when we notice what we're thinking about, sometimes we'll have a judgment. Oh, don't think about that, right? And if we can let go of the judgment part and instead just notice non-judgmentally, we become very aware of what's happening in our body and our mind throughout our life. So let's try to keep the eyes closed for this one as you circle the torso, keep it slow. And I want you to just dive inward and really notice how this feels as you circle around. Now reverse the direction. Notice what parts of the body are feeling this. Notice what the mind might be focusing on or thinking about. And if you have a judgment, just notice the judgment and try not to judge the judgment. Good, keep your awareness, maybe keep the eyes closed as you sit up at center and just notice any sensations that shift and change in the body. And 
inch your feet closer together. Cross your right knee over the left. Take your left hand to the right knee and bring your right hand to the chair. Either if you have arms, you can use the arms or bring it to the back of the chair. Trick, if you can't reach the back of the chair, then just shift your legs a little bit to the side so that you can reach the back of your chair. Okay, good. Now inhale, get taller through your spine. Beautiful. Exhale as you twist to the right. So if you can't tell, we're detoxifying a little bit from the 4th of July holiday <laughs> with all these twists. So sometimes when we're twisting, we tend to breathe into our chest. See if you can continue to breathe down low into the belly. And you can stay right here, gently folding with crossed legs. Or if you want to get a little bit more into the hip, then bring your right ankle to the knee instead and fold. So either one here or here, whatever feels best for you. Let the head relax. Send your breath into the hip sockets. Largest joint of the body. Two more breaths here. Inhale, rising the torso up. Hug your right knee in, try to give it a kiss. Let it down. Take your hands up to the thigh and sweep all the way down your right leg. Good. Other side, cross your left knee over the right. Bring your right hand to hold on to the knee. Left hand comes to the back of your chair. Inhale, get taller. Exhale as you twist. Send your breath down low into the belly. See if you can twist a little bit deeper by relaxing the sitting bones. On an inhale, unwind. Folding just like this, or bring the left ankle to the right knee. Either way, send your breath down into the sitting bones, into the hip sockets. Relax the jaw. Couple more breaths. Oh, 
when you're ready, use your inhale to rise up. Ah, exhale, release this left leg. Take the hands up to the thigh and sweep all the way down. Just releasing any stuck energy, any toxicity, any soreness. Good. Bring your hands to your knees. Lean it forward and rise up to standing. We're going to do a little bit of shoulder work. So you're welcome to stay in the chair if you prefer to sit. Otherwise, let's stand up and let's take a strap. And you can bring the chair to the front of your mat with the seat facing away. And then just step back away from your chair a little bit so that you have some space. There we go, that's better. And let your feet be shoulder width apart. Go ahead and open your strap. I like to have my strap folded in half because it's really long and I, I only need about half of it. So just let your hands be a little bit wider than the shoulders and reach it up and lean it side to side. Good, and reach it back. And let it come forward and down, releasing the shoulders. Take the strap behind you. Hands are holding the strap behind you. Bend the knees, gently folding as you reach the strap away from your back. Let your head hang. Slowly rising up. Ah, oh, good. Release your strap off to the side. And let's stand up by the chair. Hands can rest on the chair. Heart is lifting. Shoulders are gliding down the back. Feet are hip width apart. Go ahead and spread your toes. Let the soles of the feet sink into the earth. And then begin to circle your hips. Pick one spot in front of you to gaze. And notice how the weight is shifting on your feet. You're able to keep your balance here. And the hips are opening especially as you go forward, this front psoas area on either side of the pelvis is able to lengthen. And go the other way. Good, bring your pelvis to center. Lengthening up through your heart, shoulders relax. Let your eyes gaze softly 
through the lens of the eyeballs at your one spot. Maybe lift the corners of the mouth slightly. Leaning onto your right foot, balance on your right leg as your left knee comes out to the side. Bring the bottom of your left foot to your right ankle. Lift your pelvic floor, helping you stay steady. Hands can stay on the chair or maybe one arm lifts. Maybe the other. Your breath is long and slow if possible. Stay steady as you let the hands come back to the chair. Bend the knee of your standing leg and reach your left leg back into warrior one. Reach the arms up. Draw your left hip back. As your heart moves to the left side, reach your arms over each foot, gazing over your front fingertips, warrior two. Inhale, straight in your front knee. Exhale, bend in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. One more. Staying in the bend, flip your front palm up, reach it up as your back hand touches your back leg. And release your front arm to the chair, reach your back arm over your head. Good, everyone, release. Bring both hands to the chair. Turn your heart forward, step it up. Walk it back, downward dog. Reaching those sitting bones back, heart melts. And we'll take three sighs out through the mouth here. Inhale with me. Gazing forward, walk it up. Standing tall, leaning onto your left leg. Try to keep your same gaze point the entire time through this sequence. Bring your right knee out to the side Bottom of your right foot touches your left ankle. Lifting the pelvic floor, maybe one arm reaches up. Relax the jaw, keeping your breath. Hands can stay on the chair or both arms reach up. And gently lift the corners of the mouth. Keep your drishti as you bring the hands to the chair. Bend your left knee, your standing leg, and reach your right foot back, lowering it down. You might have to inch your front toes forward a smidge. 
and reach the arms up, warrior one. Keep your gaze point as you draw the right hip back. Arms open over each leg. You're still gazing forward as your heart faces sideways. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, bend it in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Flip your front palm up. Reach it up as your back hand touches the back leg. And reach this top arm forward to the chair. Now you might have to shift your gaze. Tuck the chin as the right arm reaches over the head. Release, gazing forward, hands come to the chair. Step it up. Inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, palms touch. Bring them down to the chair. Walk it all the way back, downward dog. One side this time. Inhale with me. to gaze forward. Exhale, walk it out. Inhale, reaching out and up. Palms touch, bring them down to the heart. Remembering your intention. Let's switch the chair so that it's facing towards you. Good, and we'll just add a little bit to this sequence. Ready? Inhale slowly, reaching out and up. Palms touch, exhale, bowing. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, downward dog. Stay here or inhale, plank. Exhale, hip drop. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, walk it up, flat back. Exhale, folding. Inhale, all the way out and up. Palms touch, exhale, bring them to the heart. Gazing forward, lean onto your right leg. Maybe just turn your knee out to the side, but your toes are still on the ground for tree. Stay here or reach it up. Inhale. 
Hands can stay lifted or at the heart. Slightly bend into your right knee, the leg that you're standing on. Trying to keep your balance as you glide your left toes back, lowering your back foot down. Inch your right toes forward. Good, warrior one. Keep your same gaze point as you draw the left hip back. Arms open over each leg, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front knee. Exhale, bend in as much as is comfortable. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Stay here, flip your front palm up, reach it up. And pinwheel your front arm forward to the chair, back arm reaches over the head, your heart is facing sideways. You can gaze to the side. Good, everyone, press into both feet. Ride your inhale up into warrior one, heart is facing forward. Palms touch, exhale, bring them down to the chair. Come on to the ball of your back foot, step your right foot back, downward dog. <sighs> Hang out here or inhale, high plank. Exhale, let the hips drop. Inhale, glide your shoulders down the back, press into the hands, lifting your heart. Good, exhale, down dog. On an inhale, walk the feet up, flat back. Exhale, bowing. Inhale, rising all the way out and up. Palms touch, exhale to heart center. Leaning onto your left foot. Bend your right knee out to the side. Toes can stay on the ground, but draw it to your ankle. Try to keep your same drishti gaze as you gently bend your left knee and reach back with your right foot, lowering your back heel down. Warrior one, arms can be palms at the heart or up. Draw the right hip back, open those arms, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front knee. Exhale, let it bend in a little deeper. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bending in. You might have to jut your toes, you might have to inch your toes a little bit forward because as we bend in more, you get a little deeper. One more time. Stay in the bent knee, flip your front palm up, reach it up. And pinwheel that front arm forward, back arm reaches up, heart is rotating to the side. Press into both feet as you come up into warrior one. 
palms touch, good job. Slowly bring them all the way down to the chair. Come on to the ball of your back foot. Step back, downward dog. This is our last downward dog. Let's take one big sigh. <sighs> Breathing here or inhale, last plank. You're welcome to stay here or drop the hips. Glide those shoulders down the back, press down through the hands, lifting the heart. Up dog. Downward dog. One step at a time, walk it up, flat back. Bowing down. Ride your inhale out and up. Palms touch. Exhale, bringing them to heart center. Become fully aware of the body. How does the body feel right now? Float your awareness up to the mind. And tune in to any emotions or feelings. Gently bowing the head to the soul. Becoming aware of this higher part of you. To our resting pose. You can rest in the chair or you can lie down on the back. You're also welcome to elevate the legs in the chair or off the wall. And if you have to leave right at the end of class, then just set a timer for five minutes for yourself. Otherwise, we'll go over a couple of minutes today. So once you've come into your resting pose, you can let all the effort of your practice be released. Let your breath be natural. Let your eyelids get heavy, closing. Imagine the crown of the head softening. The mouth relaxing.
Relaxing the neck, shoulders, arms, hands. Relaxing the chest, back, belly, sacrum, pelvis. Relaxing the hips, thighs, knees, lower legs, ankles, feet. This is our opportunity to get out of our own way. Allow the energy of the universe to hold you. Let it hold you as you rest.
You're welcome to stay in your resting pose as we close out. And just bring the palms together at the heart for a moment. Honoring this whole being that you are. Honoring the effort that you put in and also your ability to let go. And we'll seal this practice with one ohm. If you'd like to join in with me, go ahead and inhale. And exhale all the way out. Inhale for Om. Namaste.